<laughs> oh, great. What the, what's going on here? So it can, oh no. Welcome back everybody to Azura. It has been quite some time, however, I have been extremely busy. As you see here, I have completely cleaned up this area. I do have to continue on down the way a little bit, but this river is flowing significantly better than it was before. And also as you see down there, I've been busy stacking up the wood, loading them up in the truck. This is my first run dropping the wood off in the sawmill however as you see i have made plenty of money from the dirt and the cleanup and a little bit of the wood and so that's been going well and today as you saw in the last episode i have been chopping down trees and i will be continuing with more more tree work as the title says picking up sticks with a bell this machine works great and so with my first run coming down this area, I've never been in this area before, in this direction. I'm not entirely sure how far along this sawmill is, but it's going to be somewhere around here. Hmm. Look at this. Oh, what does that say? For sale. There are all kinds of surprises around here, I must say. Trees. A tree planter with trees in it. Hmm. Well, there is a number. Interesting. You know, I'm actually starting to think this could be useful. Because with that bell, it is a great machine there for certain things, but I could easily use one of these. I mean, I do have the one excavator there on the at the mine, but I don't really have anything forestry. I wonder how much it is. I'm going to inquire. For now, I mean, there are all kinds of machines and things that I will be needing to get. I will be needing to get a better logging truck here. This one is a fantastic vehicle for general work but I'm not entirely oh what's going on here but I'm not a huge fan of how these supports are for holding the logging trailer and I think the two there should be removed but when I attach the trailer back you can't, can't really I'd have to cut those off or something I don't know I said that before in the video but that is the only complaint I have about this vehicle it works incredible though well, there we go. Look at that machine. I'll just go and talk to them and see if I can figure out how to use this. Well, okay. That's easy enough. It's like any other crane. And I just dump it here.
This gives me actually a good idea. I'll keep the logs longer than five meters. When I chop them up, I stick them out the back, and there we go. That'll be the easiest way. So let's do that about 500 more times. When I was doing my work, my logging around here, which is actually over here, it's part of the my land, and I'm going to be taking down these trees and creating the field over in this direction. I saw this, and it is a zip line, and I wanted to be the I wanted to do this the first time with you guys, so. I am not really a huge fan of height so much, at least of this type of thing. Going up there, that's no problem, but here, hanging on a rope, let's see what happens. Uh, let's see here. Okay. Oh, man. Look at this. Here we go. <laughs> My um, stomach is in. Woohoo! <laughs> this is incredible. There's that. Wow, I talk about vertigo, even... <laughs> this is amazing. I can't believe this. How do I get back up? Wow. There's a waterfall. Look at this. <laughs> Whoa. Ooh, uh, that makes me nervous. Wow. And then down. Whew. That really did uh, make me tingle. Bye bye. Let me just <coughs> get a breather here. And that's no joke, I am not very fond of that type of thing. And I really am tingly. I'm dead serious about that. <laughs> even, even though this is just a game. What is this here? Wait, where am I? Oh, I'm here. There's another cabin, cool. Okay, now that I caught my breath. I'm going to go for a long hike back up to the truck. It is a nice, beautiful walk by the river here. The waterfalls, fresh air, the smells, incredible smells. I'm very much enjoying this nice walk. Just look at this view. I really love it here. Take a look at what this is. I mean, how fresh this. You walk around, you you find more and more wonderful things.
The truck should be somewhere around here. I mean, I was walking along that path and I decided to come up this way because I saw the rope there. Oh, there we go. There it is. So, let's get to work. Time to stop screwing around. Okay, so that didn't work out. Let me try to get this thing with my wheel loader here. And I will try to avoid that hole. I want to make this area my field. Oh no, there we go. Can I grab? Oh man, I think this is getting worse and worse. Probably gonna have to bring this to the... Oh man. <laughs> <laughs> oh great. What the what's going on here? Oh man, this is bad. Maybe I can get him out now. Let's 
Francisco, you can do it. Okay, maybe if I can grab onto the wheel loader and pull them up. So this was definitely not the idea for today. Can I even grab onto that? Can I even reach that? Okay. Yay! All right. Let go. Let go, let go, let go. I could use another person right now. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Now the wheel is in the way. Shoot. No! try with this stump, although, oof. Go this way. I could have done that a little bit earlier, gone the easy route. Now, let's try not to go in the hole again. Yay, let's go get a beer. Okay, I'm going to go take a break. Max, are you having fun in there? He loves that water. Okay, it's been a while. And after that incident with the bell, I decided to take a break. I got more coffee, and then I made a few phone calls to get this excavator. As you can see, I used to have over 169,000, and now I have... 1,369. The reason is this excavator was actually really cheap. What everything else was was the attachments to the excavator, this truck and trailer are also now mine. I didn't know that this truck and trailer came along with that excavator. They were just advertising the excavator and I got to talking to them and I said, well, how am I supposed to transport this? And they mentioned that they had a truck and everything and the conversation went and now I have no money, a truck, and an excavator. But it's good though because this has a big bucket so I can... Oh no. Okay. So I gotta be really careful. I'm just going to focus on driving now and try to worm my way up here because this thing has been... This is a beast, trying to get this thing up here. I will replay as soon as I get closer to home. And there goes my truck. Off the map. 5,700, 800, 9, 6,000 kilometers an hour. Will I ever see the truck again? Uh-oh. 
I was right here. Mommy, my truck got stuck in a tree. So I may have finally been able to get up here. I had to search around the trailer, as you will see in a second. Because there are many physics problems, and I actually don't know why that is. Maybe it'll go away when I restart the game, I don't know. But I had to get this trailer, and I think it might actually work. I don't know why the other trailer was not working. Maybe it's just the machine. I can't say. I hope that works. That would be nice. Let me get this thing over, because I'm going to have to travel over this way. Let me look on the map. As you see here, I'm right here and I have to travel individually three times back and forth with the excavator to get all the equipment over here. I did lose the little trees that were in here because I had to reset. As you saw, my trailer went flying and all the machines went off the map and I had to go into the XML file, redo it all and then yeah it was a lot of work getting this back up and running again the machines and equipment are still all the same i did manage to just reset them by going in the xml file because I, I actually thought i might have to completely rebuy rebuy them and redo all of the that other stuff but I did manage to get them with the XML file over here I just have to find my way how do I get over here so I am sorry for that little aside now back to reality getting this over here is a pain in the butt so what I'm going to do oops so what I'm going to do is load up one truck of trees, sell it, and then call it a day. That's the fortunate thing about being on your own. If you get sick of the day, you can just say, okay, and toss in the towel, and there we go. Oh, here the ocean is near, but you dug a hole and buried my fear. Scattered like trees Sometimes in line But I'm down all the time
just don't care anymore. I'm going to quit while I'm ahead. I'm calling this a win. You saw exactly how much of the pain in the ass. Today is just going from bad to worse. I'm going to sell this wood and then call it in, throwing in the towel. Now I kept that in there, the video, just to show you this is an awesome vehicle. Well, I finally made it. This vehicle, it looks like it's going to fall over, feels like it's going to fall over or get stuck, but it never does. I did have to cut down a couple of trees to get through here just because that's so wonky on there. But I made it. I'll unload these things. There we have it, ladies and gentlemen. I'm calling it in. It's only 2 o'clock in the afternoon, but I don't care. I'm going to go play with Max, go for a swim, do all kinds of stuff other than work. Thank you very much for watching. It was not a very successful day, but a good couple of good things happened. God bless you, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.